My name is Dali Azaki. I'm 11 and a half years old and I'm in sixth grade in the Gifted and Talented program. I was born in Las Vegas. My family, that's two moms, my brother, who's also in the Gifted program, and our two cats moved to Reno last summer. Northern Nevada is perfect. We love it here because we are close to my dad and his partner who live just outside of San Francisco. I am here today to testify about what marriage equality means to me. As I said, I have two moms and two dads. My biological mom and dad grew up as close neighbors in a small Southern California town. In their mid-twenties, they each realized that they were gay. Even though they moved away to college, they stayed in touch. My mom knew that she wanted to have kids, so she asked my dad to be the donor. Soon her, my mom's wish came true and I was born. My brother came two years later. We see Daddy Jay often and love spending time with him and his partner, Sean, and their two dogs. By the way, they can't get married in California anymore either. My mom and her partner, Patricia, got married a few years ago as soon as domestic partnership became legal in Nevada. It was a beautiful ceremony. As you can imagine, I was the flower girl and my brother was the ring bearer. Some people think that my mom should be happy being domestic partners and don't think they should have the right to get married. I disagree. I don't agree because it is discrimination, pure and simple. My parents are all highly educated, work hard, pay taxes, vote, take us to piano lessons, make us do chores, go grocery shopping, and tuck us in every night. The list of what makes them like any other parents is longer than I have time to share, but I shouldn't have to. They shouldn't have to prove that they are worthy of the same rights and responsibilities that heterosexual people have. They deserve the basic freedom of marriage because they are human, period. And I deserve the basic right just to say, yeah, my parents' wedding anniversary is in March. And leave it at that, not always having to explain all the details to people. My brother and I deserve to feel safe and secure that Patricia can pick us up from school, take us to the doctor, or make decisions about our well-being without facing unnecessary obstacles, just like all my friends' parents. I think that the sexual orientation of my parents has a lot to do with the quality of my character. For as long as I can remember, I've known that discrimination against anyone is wrong. Marriage equality will have positive implications for our state and our society. Do you have any idea how many times I hear, that's so gay, and other kids calling each other fags and lesbos in middle school? I even know of a two-year-old who wore a kilt to a recital, and the parents around him were saying that he was going to be gay. It's always used as an insult, even if kids don't know what it means. And I have to make the choice several times a day to either speak up or remain silent, knowing that if I say something, I risk being insulted or even physical violence. But by keeping quiet, I have to hear it over and over again. I wonder how other people would feel if their parents were constantly being insulted for who they chose to love. Maybe if May marriage equality passed, giving gay and lesbian couples relationships the recognition and respect that they deserve, using gay as an insult may become more the exception than the rule. I ask you to vote yes for marriage equality in Nevada. Thank you for allowing me to speak today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Madam Senator Menendo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, to the young lady, have you ever heard the phrase, you just knocked it out of the park? <laughs> Because if you haven't, you just did. Thank you. Thank you, yes, ma'am. And let me say um, that we only have. Uh